and welcome to the final uh, race review before the summer break. Um, I've just been watching the, the Hungarian Grand Prix and the, these are my thoughts. So stay tuned. Um, a, a collision between um, between uh, Verstappen and um, uh, Max uh, uh, Max Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo, which resulted in Ricciardo uh, being a bit very pissed off with. Max Verstappen, um, it was clearly his fault, um, yes, so he was really pissed off at the, at the end of the, in, uh, at the, at the, when he gave his interviews, and um, we also had uh, um, the two Spaniards of science and Sainz and um, Fernando um, get, um, coming together, although no action was uh, taken. Um, Verstappen got a 10 second um, penalty um, added to his pit stop. And uh, there was there, there was also a coming together between Halkenberg and Drozon, I do believe it was, um, but no action was rock, uh, taken there. Um, the the um, the, the, the the highlights for me. Of the race was that um, that um, Lewis Hamilton made good on his promise to let uh, Bottas go back through uh, to take third position and the final step of the podium. Uh, after he failed to um, after he failed to go up after the uh, after he failed to go after the Ferraris, um, Kimi Kimi Raikkonen got frustrated um, by because he he was wasn't allowed to get past. Um, uh, Vettel, uh, which makes me wonder, is uh, Kimi already degraded to water boy to Vettel? Uh, uh, because, as I said, he was clearly faster, but he was he wasn't allowed to attack him. Um, yeah, so so. Um, and then the, um, the both both um, there was both McLarens ended up in the points uh, in sixth and and at ninth position I believe it was sixth for Fernando. Uh, for, Fernando Alonso and nines for Stoff, uh, actually it was tens for Stoff Van Dom, um, which makes me wonder: Is McLaren gonna stick with Honda now that they making improvements? Uh, what 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 do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, for I was I was completely wrong in my prediction, which I made earlier, where I predicted that um, Paul De Resta would be able to um, get into the top ten. He 
unfortunately had to retire the car due to an issue. Um, but it was still a good showing from him. Um, yeah. So yeah, so it, it was it was um so the the race in, ended um with uh 46th career victory for Sebastian Vettel and it uh, followed by Kimi Raikkonen and due to that genuine genuous genu genuine uh, generous um, uh, pass uh, gift gift to both of us given by Lewis Hamilton uh, Valtteri Bottas uh, took third place and um, Hamilton finished in fourth place um, the the gap between uh, Sebastian and and Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton now is 14 points um, I, I I think uh, that was very sport sports sportsman like of uh, Lewis Hamilton and he he is beginning to go up and up in my estimation yes concludes my my review of the Hungarian Grand Prix um, I would also like to say a massive thanks to all my subscribers and viewers who have been supporting me for the last year and a half since I started Raz on F1, um, I have, I don't know whether I've told anybody, uh, but I suffer with um, cerebral palsy and uh, lately I've been suffering with a bit of anxi uh, anxiety and panic attacks, um, which are totally not related to um, the um, the anxiety and the panic attacks actually are the result of uh, severe labyrinthitis, um, which is which is the funnily enough the same illness that um, um, Felipe Massa and Martin Brundle are rumored to have caught. So I know exactly how these guys feel at the minute. Um, I personally have have gotten over, am getting over it now. Um, these videos really help my confidence. Um, I just hope that I can um, um, find a way to get get myself. Sky TV in 2019 because I think the t t um, the deal to broadcast uh, Formula One on Channel Four uh, is ending in at the end of 2018, and I really want to continue to do this channel uh, for you guys because I just need. Because it helps me um, with my anxieties, because I love Formula One, um, and it also helps me with my uh, with my uh, confidence. So um, I would I would greatly appreciate uh, any ideas, uh, or or if you would like to donate. Uh, on my PayPal, um, you know, um, so that I can get myself Sky um, for next for um, 2019 because, as I said, I really love doing this channel and your support really means a lot to me. And yes, 
So, so, uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that I'll, I'll find a way of, of, uh, getting, getting, um, to watch these, the Formula One races, even if I haven't got Sky, um, but I just really want to, want to be able to, uh, give you these reviews, because your comments are awesome. I have had um, some trouble with uh, rendering um, the some of my, some of my videos, um, where although I've been re I've recorded it, the um, the clips are sometimes not playing properly, um, so. I, I sort of cut short, so maybe somebody can give me some advice on how to overcome that. Um, I've been using a software called Free Studio, um, but it's a, it's it was a, it's a, it's a free software, so, so that's why I've had some some watermarks like um in some of my videos but uh, your support really means a lot to me and yeah um, I'll see you uh, in, 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 uh, in, in Spa for the bet I see you at Spa for the Belgium Grand Prix after the summer break thanks for watching guys really appreciate it cheers bye